The number of people under investigation for alleged ties to terror has risen in the United States. According to a new report from George Washington University, 56 people have been arrested so far this year. And the FBI is watching hundreds more who have been sympathizing with ISIS online. Dr. Lorenzo Vedino is one of the authors of the report, ISIS in America. Thanks a lot for joining us, doctor. This is really fascinating and, and, and pretty disturbing. And I think one of the things that is surprising to learn is that most of these people, all of these people are American. Oh, yeah, the vast majority of them. Uh, I think of the 71 people that we've seen arrested over the last year and a half, uh, 85 to 90 percent of them are either U.S. citizens or permanent residents. We have no refugees, for example. These are mostly kids who are born and raised in the U.S. 40 percent of them are converts to Islam of all backgrounds, Caucasian, African-American, Latino, Jewish. This is very much a domestic uh, American problem. And that's what makes this a challenge for law enforcement. You have so many different people with different backgrounds living in different states. And the profile here is really hard to nail down. What I found interesting is that the average age is 26. I think some people would think that's a little bit higher. You saw some people in their 40s in your study. Uh, what's going on here? What's, what's the significance of that age demographic? Yeah, actually, if you take out a couple of guys in their 40s uh, that kind of skew the numbers, uh, most are really kids in their early 20s, and we actually have seen a couple of cases of minors. Uh, it's really trending younger and younger than what we saw, for example, 10 years ago with people who joined Al-Qaeda. Uh, it's a phenomenon that it's uh, to some degree related to social media. ISIS is very good at recruiting on social media, and the demographic that is on Twitter, on Instagram, is the young kids. It's the teenagers and the people in their early 20s. If you look at their profile, files on social media. These are American kids interested in what people in that age group would be interested in, but also interested in ISIS. It's a fascinating dynamic. And just like the age demographic, also what draws them to ISIS may be different. What, how would you describe, I guess, the typical ISIS sympathizer in terms of their ideology, or is there a typical? No, there's really no typical ideology when you have, uh, you know, men in their 40s and teenage girls, college students and petty criminals. All of them, uh, in different ways, end up being attracted by this ideology. Arguably, the motivations are different. There are some that are drawn by this uh, utopi utopian idea of creating a perfect Islamic society in the self-declared caliphate. Uh, there's other people that are, they find a meaning, uh, uh, sort of a sense of identity in joining a group. Uh, uh, there's some that are attracted by the sense of adventure, the idea of going there, shooting guns, uh, and being part of what looks like a video game, even though in reality it's hardly a video game. It's, it's a terrifying reality. Well, that's, I think what's very difficult here is tracking down the warning signs. Did you find any? Uh, very, very difficult. And I think that's a challenge that law enforcement faces where they have hundreds and probably actually in the, uh, more than a thousand individuals that are sympathizing with the ideology, that are attracted to it, and they spend their days on social media fantasizing about the Islamic State and so on, uh, and then telling which are going to be just keyboard warriors, uh, just uh, you know, exercising their First Amendment protected right of uh, freedom of speech. Uh, to then actually doing something, whether that means going to Syria or carrying out attacks in the U.S., uh, sorting out uh, the trajectory is something very, very complex. That's a law enforcement is struggling. All right, Dr. Lorenzo Vadino, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Pleasure.